Hi everyone, welcome to Stunner Share. So in this video, we are going to see the uh, Nifty analysis. So what is happening with Nifty? Let us see on a monthly time frame. Why? Because monthly chart is already been completed, and then a uh, new month has been started. Like couple of days has been gone. So let's start with monthly chart itself. So that on a monthly chart, if you could see, there is no proper uh, pattern or like understanding. But one good thing is like. Uh, the previous month or the March month low is not yet broken and we have uh, taken a good support and this particular candle looks like a hammer candle as well. So what's next? Uh, as I repeat, as I have told in the previous videos, I would expect some sort of uh, compression to happen. That means uh, some few more candles to from few more monthly candles to form which should compress or which should not show much of volatility if the volatility is reducing then that means that the wix will also reduce if that wix is also reducing then that will that might trigger an upside move okay so we should wait for that so ideally for now there is no long setup has been formed but there is no bearish setup as well so i could see a i could see a small parallel channel which is looking like a flag and this particular point is looking like a pull so this also looks like a flag and pull pattern so let us see how this performs okay this also looks like a flag and pull pattern but right now there is no uh, buying or selling opportunity i see with respect to the monthly chart now let us also see with respect to the moving average on what it says see clearly on a 20 sma on a, on a monthly chart the stock the nifty is taking some support so it is a good opportunity uh, to not break and go upside because once it breaks then it it takes a huge amount of time to come back to the uh, to go above it say for example in the past days let's see from 2008 it has come down the uh, come down below the 20 sma on a monthly chart and took a lot of time to go up okay forget about where it has taken support and all those but again to continue the bullish trend it has to come up and break this all time high right so uh, for, to break this all time high it has to first come over the 20 sma to, to come above the 20 sma it has taken a huge amount of time okay let me mark that as well so it has taken a huge amount of time same again here even though it uh, it was like a small like uh, not much of big fall like this time but took a large amount of time to come above the 20 sma and same way like here again if you see over here there are like if you see the volatility has compressed on in all these zones and then it has started to move upside okay see for example here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 months it was like roaming below the 20 sma that is that is something a bearish sign or not a bullish sign which is not healthy for the market and again it was a huge volatility and huge upside move also and again now it has taken a support if in case if it is going to break below this 20 sma then at least minimum of three to four months we will be below the 20 sma only and will not be able to go up even in this covid crash if you see this candle gave a close below the 20 sma one two three four five so five months it has taken to cross above the 20 sma so minimum th three to four months it might take to uh, close above the 20 sma so let us see whether we are going to give a close below the 20 sma or not so on a monthly chart i don't see any bearish or bullish setup now let us go to the weekly chart okay on a weekly chart i don't see any uh, sort of parallel cha parallel channel here because uh, if you see over here let me connect these two and uh, if i connect this there is one no other points which are like connecting or helping it so i don't see an exact uh, parallel channel but on a monthly chart as there are wicks and all those i could see a good uh, channel in a monthly chart okay and now let's come to the uh, weekly chart price action what it says is like see as per the price action pattern so let me remove all other drawings okay so this particular zone is nothing but the what uh, covid crash okay this is where covid crash started and that before to that so 2018 or 20s all time high zone and that is the major support which i'm not expecting nifty to take support like i'm not expecting nifty to come over here so what are the other areas where nifty can take support uh, after this particular zone i could see this particular zone can act as a good support and beyond that right now it is taking support at this zone clear so this is once this has there has been some consolidation over here market went up came over here took a support and now market made a lower high and then took a support over here itself it has not made a lower low till now okay so to market to continue another upside move it has to at least break this high 
then only the uh, high will be broken lower high will be broken and a new higher high will be formed until then we have to keep quiet okay and right now here it is trying to struggle because if you see in a daily chart let me go to the daily chart and come back to weekly chart again so forget about these uh, zones which are marked okay but see over here nifty tried to take some support at these zones okay taken a support went up then broken then took a support at this zone then went up taken a support taken a support then broke down faced some rejection came down to major support then went up then took some support then came down to took some support 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 broken and now trying to face some rejection trying to and now trying like now facing some resistance so this small line is a uh, minor uh, resistance which i could see in nifty so if this resistance is taken out then we might come over here so the next resistance which i see over here which we might face over here so let us see whether like where are we going to face the rejections so are we going to face the rejection and come down let me mark that as well okay are we going to actually it has faced a rejection so are we going to face some rejection and come down or break above take support go face rejection and then come down so which of these two will happen that would be my question so i'm not like extremely bullish like it will break this high but i'm expecting at least this high to be touched and then come down so these are the two expectations which i have in nifty let us see whether it is working out or not now let us see with respect to moving average and see what what it says so with respect to moving average it is on a weekly time frame it is still below the 20 sma it is trade, trade, trading below the 20 sma moving average only so let us see how long it takes to come upside so anyways if it comes upside then i am expecting it to face some resistance over here on a daily chart i could see the 20 sma is trading below the 200 sma and the price is trading below the 200 sma but above the 20 sma this you know when this sort of situation happens it it basically um, takes some more time to go and hit and like consolidate and then give a breakout or some patterns might also form and then uh, do something on that so we have to wait till that zone to come like again like when i said like uh, nifty might face some rejection over here we might the, uh, when when the nifty comes over here the 200 sma can also be coming over here and we might face some rejection at this zone like 200 sma as well as the resistance zone where we might face some rejection come down and here right now i could see some small consolidations might happen and then give a breakout and then go upside this is uh, i'm expecting this to happen so let us see whether these are happening or not so on a daily time frame as per moving average i'm expecting some bullishness to have come in a uh, few days so that would help nifty to go further upside now let's close this moving average part let's remove all the drawings and let us come to daily chart on a daily chart my main focus is on this particular pattern i seriously don't know what this particular pattern is is actually forming okay i don't know maybe a sort of a, a triangle pattern which might be forming with with, uh, with respect to the elliot wave but exactly i'm not sure what is this pattern actually it's forming it is forming a resistance one resistance two resistance three resistance resistance level trend line is also seen so if it is extended far more then nifty might face some rejection over here as well we are not exactly sure like where it can face some rejection when it is facing some rejection over here and that is where it was previously rejected also rejected here rejected here taken support here so this can, this could be a possible zone where nifty can face some rejection okay and this trend line is also extending and on the downside if you see um, if we mark from here this low to this low to this low it is it is taking some support on these three trend lines these three points in this lower trend line but but here it has not still broken this low okay uh, uh, rather than breaking this low it has formed a double bottom here this particular zone looks like a double bottom in a daily chart so that is what which I, which is actually confusing me whether are we going to form a double double bottom and then go upside or what are we going to do but anyways if you are going to stay bearish then i would short if there is any reversal over here or if there is any breakdown over here if if i could see any breakdown over here another 800 to 1000 points fall i can see if there is some rejection over here then that is a good risk reward ratio where we can see at least some 1500 points or 2000 points fall but if in case if it has to be a bullish scenario then it has to break this high if this higher high uh, sorry lower high is broken then only i'll be like turning bullish or nifty until and then either sideways or short term bullish or like um, bearish nature only i would keep so let us see how nifty is performing now let us check with the moving average chart and what it says yeah on moving average i've already explained so let's move on to the hourly chart okay so hourly chart is neat
ओके अवर्ली चार्ट इज नीट वाई बिकॉज ई नीड द प्राइस टू क्लोज अबउ दि टू मूविंग एवरेजेस द प्राइस क्लोज अबउ दि टू मूविंग एवरेज आर दिस कैंडल इट सेल्फ एंड द सेकंड पॉइंट इज लाइक ऐ वॉन्ट द ट्वेंटी मूविंग एवरेज टू क्रॉस अबउ दि टू हंड्रेड मूविंग एवरेज द ट्वेंटी मूविंग एवरेज क्रॉस अब दिस टू हंड्रेड मूविंग एवरेज सो वेन दट वेन दट क्रॉसिंग इज हैपिंग वॉट इज द स्विंग आई विच हेज बीन फॉर्म सो दिस इज द स्विंग आई विच हेज बीन फॉर्म ओके एंड वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज लाइक दिस इज द रीसेंट स्विंग आई विच इज फॉर्म एंड आई वॉन्ट द पुल बैक टू हैपन टू वर्ड्स ट्वेंटी एस एम और टू हंड्रेड एस एम और लाइक वॉट एवर पुल बैक इट इज हैपन सो टू मी द पुल बैक हेज हैपन ओवर इयर सो माई my entry point will be this high like 16 695 would be my entry point and my stop loss will be this one like 16438 and i have also given the option strategy like what i would do and unfortunately or like i'm not exactly to say like after sharing the strategy the market gave a breakout but that has become a false breakout and then started coming down to take again support at the 200 sma but luckily the sl is not broken see if you see 16438 is sl and 16444 is the uh, low which has been formed over here so nearly 6 points low 6 points which has been saved so luckily i am still holding this position uh, with a minimal loss not uh, i'm not oh, i'm okay with if i if the stop loss is also get because stop loss is like part and part of parcel of the trade so i'm i'm okay with that and uh, right now the market is slightly looking bullish to my eyes and it has taken support of the 20, 200 sma and again if there is one more close above the 20 sma and then further upside movement can take this high and go up and and how this uh, like uh, like how to know whether this will be a fake breakout or what so first of all uh, shift to one hourly time frame in hourly time frame if you could see the price is making higher highs okay and the rsi is making a lower high so this is not the first sign the first sign is like you need to find a good candle or a bad candle so this is not a good candle as per breakout i hope you guys can agree with that so this is a a, a red candle which shows that uh, some bearishness is seen and along with that i see that the gap between the 20 and the price is big so the possibility of coming towards the 20 is also there and second and third point is like the rsi is forming a divergence so all these things should have helped us to do a trade on the negative side and uh, if you guys see my telegram channel in the group i have already shared the screenshot that which i was holding a bearish uh, bearish uh, trade which i was holding i have booked yeah this is a screenshot which i have shared in the telegram channel where i have booked loss initially i booked the 1000 16400 pe because that is a put option and that put option stop loss is already hit why because i had taken the trade because of this bearish candle and though it has given good move but still i was expecting some more bearishness to happen but it has broken this particular high so i just closed this 16400 pe a long back and 16200 pe which is which i have sold so i thought that okay 16200 we can hold because if you see i have sold this at 432 So if in case the market is going below fifteen thousand eight hundred, then only I'll be like facing loss. Until and then, until unless I'll be like ho- book, holding the profit only. But I have booked the trade when the candle formed over here. Why I why did I book Why did I book the trade? Is like because I wanted to enter this particular trade, this particular bullish scenario. So that is why I booked the trade. So what happened to my bullish trade and all those? I'll share those screenshots or I'll share share about those trade details in the coming days. Uh, so these are the my views on a monthly chart no clear cut view on a weekly chart the market looks like a short term bounce is possible and on a daily chart the rejection levels are also seen and on an hourly chart my bullish setup is already executed i would wait for a stop loss or i would wait for my target to get hit and please know that i'll be making a separate bank nifty video going forward and i'll release that particular video i, I uh, like a second video of the day so that it would help bank nifty lovers as well and if you, if you guys are interested in stock specific uh, uh, stock specific views like swing or short term ideas do let me know in the comment section so that i'll be able to make those trades and those trades are like completely so only swing trades i would give proper stop loss and proper uh, entry levels so it's up to you guys to take or not but i would take those positions clear so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you guys like this video kindly support me by sharing this video to your friends and family Please comment your feedback in the comment section. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned for more videos.